What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a pretty quick PSA returns video. Uh, shouldn't take too long. This was a pretty small submission, and it's some pretty, um, it's one of the recent ones uh, when they started to have their new specials again. And let's just get right into it. So we're starting with the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection promos. This one we did get a 10 on. Unfortunately, as far as the three promos, this is like not my favorite, probably the least favorite of the three, but we did get the 10. Definitely want to have a 10 of each of them. Although I don't, doesn't necessarily need to be ones that I've graded. Um, it'll be interesting to see where these guys end up, but you know, there are so many, you know, this, this UPC is nothing like the celebrations one where there's just so much product. You can still buy it at MSRP. You can buy it on eBay for less than. Um, so, you know, I won't go like, like Champions Path ETV promo, uh, but I, I can only assume that these will go down and everyone's submitting them. Um, so I think like if you do want these graded, I would just wait a little bit. And, you know, especially if you're fine with eight and nine, I bet you can pick those up really cheap. And, you know, the tens, we'll, we'll see how much of a premium they hold uh, just because the centering is rough. Um, this one, I maybe I actually I this was like the first UPC I opened. So I submitted all three uh, but that center is pretty bad. All right, then we're moving on to this, the Mischievous Pichu. Uh, no idea if this will ever get an English print, so I picked up a bunch of them, and we got a 10. Likely not a big deal. And apparently I didn't do a great job screening all these cards, so this one got a six. Then we got a nine. One thing uh, we'll talk about today is like Japanese promos, like when they get a nine, when do I consider cracking them and submitting them again? Here we got a nice one, probably one of the better um rainbow or or secret rares from sword and shield base the snorlax just a very um classic v max pokemon so shout out to poke fan out there i bet you would like that card all right we got oh I'm sure he has one uh marnie's pride this is from what is it brilliant stars okay moving on to another recent card special delivery charts yeah they're just printers are going off the going crazy this one got nine makes sense this centering is not great and another great you know uh example of you know charizard you know they're just making so many copies i think you could pick these codes up for like five bucks on ebay but again centering is pretty tough so we submitted a bunch of them oh this one looks pretty good this one's a little disappointing get a nine um i don't think this is worth cracking and sending okay this angle you can see um definitely not perfect so makes sense but yeah let's see if we are right, we did get 110 so we can kind of check that off i think i'll still i am still submitting more of these uh but to be honest just because i don't have anything else to submit um haven't been cracking much seal product lately um and haven't been buying raw singles and everything that is you know not new is like the price is already what it, what it's going to be so meaning you know it's not like after you grade it there'll be a huge jump in value um and stuff is just really expensive right now so yeah honestly not sure what i'll grade this is a pretty rough grade six uh, maybe this is something i can i don't know uh, another interesting set of cards the on the ball um becoming less and less optimistic about these uh, but it's pretty unique, you know, I'm a soccer fan, played that all my life, and uh, so, yeah, happy to happy to continue to add the t these tens um, to the collection. Uh, again, probably don't plan on doing anything with it, and not, I'm becoming less and less optimistic. We got the Grookey. I think I have all of them in 10. I'm not sure about the Pikachu, I think I do. All right, so now let's talk about these screen promos. So I'm just, I think I just submitted my last screen promos. Maybe I can find some more somewhere. Every once I just look through like some stuff in my closet. Oh, hey, look, there's some actual good cards in here. And um, I think, you know, I think I have some, I'm not sure if I have any more Mimikyu 9. Like if I have a Mimikyu 9, I think that's worth considering to crack and send it back in on the chance it gets a 10. Pikachu, yes. Psyduck, I don't think this one, this one actually does look like it's appropriate grade. This bar is definitely thinner. Uh, but let's see if any of these are kind of like, oh, this looks pretty good um and we'll okay same thing here all right makes sense i actually thought this would be more 
uh, kind of like, oh, I, I should resubmit because it's like so many nines. Although maybe that just means that I did screen these out previously, so they haven't been submitted until this point. And I saw a bunch of Zydox like, you know what, just send them in, they should have a good chance. Uh, unless this is just like an angle thing or a lighting thing, actually, it seems like they're all the same exact spot. Um, so I don't think I'll be submitting, resubmitting any of these, uh, but I think for Pikachu, definitely Mimikyu, it is worth considering. All right, Blastoise, oh man, I love this card. Uh, if I could redo, go back to, you know, whatever, to, uh, pre 2019, 2018, whatever, and it's like, all right, what would you pick up? I think it would be more expedition. Actually, I'm, I'm positive a lot of people say that. Um, but the artworks are just really cool. I feel like it's, um, imagine like Pokemon Snap, the background. <laughs> but you're kind of just like going Safari. And a lot of these arts, that's what I kind of think of. Uh, actually, similar with the Primes, although the Primes have not done nearly as well. And that is something I did pick up a bunch of. Uh, but because they are so cheap. All right, this is a pretty cool Electrode. Uh, in case you're not familiar, this is the No Symbol. Um, variety so there's no jungle symbol and I don't know where I am as far as this set goes I'm pretty sure most of my stuff is eight um, definitely don't have the full set I'm not even sure if I needed electrode but I just had one raw so we sent it in all right here's a pretty cool um, card I'm not sure if this will get a English print so this is actually Nessa um, I believe it's Rina in Japanese and um, they call like yeah the trainer card collections uh, I think like the first set uh, was probably went under the radar. I think this one a little bit less so. Um, and so I bought this one raw. Unfortunately, got the nine. This, uh, let's take a look. You know what? I think this I would consider. Maybe it's the top and bottom. Maybe this one's thinner than that. Um, so I'll, I'll give this a, a pretty good look and see like, all right, is this worth worth resending? Because I don't have any more. I don't plan on getting. I think I have like a couple sealed, but I don't plan on opening them. And um, yeah, I, th I think it would be worth, potentially worth the effort to, or the money to, to go for that 10. All right, we got a Shining Fates Charizard. Um, Shining Fates. So just a quick comment on this. I'm curious. I, I don't, I'm not too optimistic about Shining Fates long term. You could still buy it in stores, which, which I think is good. Um, you know, that, that the product is now plenty available, but this, you know, this will never live up to Hidden Fates. But even Hidden Fates, because of this new era of alt arts, which is great, you know, it, it kind of outclasses this era of Shinies were cool, but at the end of the day, look, it was kind of lazy. They just took the same exact art, put a bunch of these stars, and changed the colors. Um, but Hidden Fate's still my favorite modern set. Uh, Evo, Evo uh, or Evolving Skies with is get, catching up. Um, but like, so this one is, you know, knocked doubly because it's nowhere near as good as Hidden Fates. But even that, you know, I think it's, it's fair to categorize those cards, those chase cards as, look, they're just... Uh, low effort reprints they just changed the colors uh, same exact art where now they're doing all these great alt art so for those to outclass them to outperform uh, we'll see kind of like if we ever get alt arted kind of like overdone kind of like what I think they did with shinies and eventually rainbows like I, I was so happy to pull this Charizard but at the end of the day it's like oh it's rainbow rare like no one or I don't think people care about rainbow rare anymore it's like why are these still in the set all art you know they're, they have something new um and this is just old style secret rare so uh but either way <laughs> back to this card I don't want to don't want to we should still give this card the the love it deserves it's another I, I do like just this art in general um and happy to add the 10 to the Charizard collection speaking of alt arts um yeah, once upon a time, even the tag team alt arts, they just gave them away in a tin. Uh, so I think I have a couple of these in 10. I'm not sure if I have all of them. Um, I don't think I have the Mew, the Mew Mewtwo, which is unfortunate because that's probably like the best one. Um, this one's not bad though. Moving on, this is a pretty cool card. It is from Evolving Skies, uh, but it's not nothing crazy, but really happy. I think I picked this up on Whatnot at a pretty good price. I was like, oh wow, I can... Get this, I'm not sure where this card is at now, but it also graded 10. So definitely pleased with that purchase. 
Oh, maybe what nah, I'm not sure. I haven't been on whatnot in a little bit, but I wonder if that's a good place to try to pick up good singles. Uh, sometimes there's some cool streams that are selling like the um, really old Japanese stuff, like card ass and stuff. But beyond that, I don't really look at whatnot. Um, yeah, a nice Evolving Skies alt art. Not nothing, um, no Moonbrions or anything like that, but what are you gonna do? All right, we got two cards left. Uh, Cosmic Eclipse, red and blue. This one I do like because of the unique art style. So this one I am optimistic on uh, long term. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of copies out there, but it is super unique. Uh, same thing with the uh, alt art Pikachu with that featured red. And think, um, you know what? Even the blue, like, isn't there a Evolution Trainers Gallery? And but that kind of has like the more traditional art style. So it's not super consistent. Um, but either way. Happy to pick this up, or happy to add this one to the collection. And last but not least, it's nothing crazy, um, but it is a Mallow and Lana, also from Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, as far as, I, I, I don't really do like the, the waifu game, but I don't know where these stand. Uh, I don't think it's anything crazy. Um, but hey, well, it's a full art supporter and looked really good. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Pretty quick submission and um, yeah, we're, we're still sending cards out. We're, 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 the last time we sent some packs, uh, eventually we'll get them back, but I'm not sure, I, I'm not sure how to approach collecting at this point. Obviously still picking up sealed stuff and just, you know, not, not opening most of it. Um, but yeah, what, what, I'm curious what you're targeting as far as like picking up uh, singles on secondary market. I just feel like it's all, I've heard uh, like some people call it, like it's all optimized already. So, um, you know, it's not, easy like it was in the past and and um yeah so i'm not really sure what my strategy is going to be going forward but um thanks for watching as always and um yeah like comment subscribe all that goodness i'm Moana turtle i'll catch you all next time peace